Hello! So we're going to be talking about how to properly fit and adjust your Martingale collar. So uh, when you receive your Martingale in the mail, um, it is going to be in a package and it's going to be flat like this with a rubber band around it and probably some bubble wrap and it will also have instructions on it. And so go ahead and read through those instructions, but refer back to this video if you have any questions. You're also welcome to send us questions um, in the comments below or go to our Etsy shop, Fairy Tale Collars, and send us a message there. Okay, so when you receive your collar in the mail, again, it will look like this. And when you unwrap it, um, it's going to come out and it's going to look really small because it is adjusted to the very smallest length possible and this helps us out because it's easier to pack and ship that way. Um, but when it arrives, if this is your first time seeing a martingale um, or you haven't used them a whole lot in the past, um, when you open it up, sometimes you open it up like this and this is correct because you have the hole that goes over the dog's head and around its neck, and then you have the control loop, which tightens the, the portion that's around the dog's neck. But we've had people who, and this is actually fairly common, who see this loop right here as well, and instead of opening it like this, they open it like this. And this is wrong because this, big loop that you see right now is actually the adjustable portion of the collar. So if you see this happen and you're thinking, well, that's not right, um, how does it even work? Because it's not going to work. If you have it adjusted like this, it's not going to work. In fact, you're probably not going to be able to fit it around your dog's head because it's too small. But if you do actually get it over their head, it's going to be really difficult to get back off and you're probably gonna have to cut the collar off. So if it looks wrong, it probably is wrong. So what you wanna do is you just wanna take the adjuster and you wanna move it all the way to the other side of the collar. When you do that, magic, it becomes a nice big collar. And this is how you're going to put it over your dog's head. And then you're going to put the collar up just below the base of your dog's head not down low on their neck. You want the martingale to fit up high and then you're going to adjust it from there. So this is already over the dog's neck and you're going to take the adjuster and slide it down until the collar becomes tighter, not too tight, but the way you check to make sure it's just right is when you pull up on this control loop right here this is where the leash gets attached. Um, you want these two hardware pieces to stay separated. So if they are touching, then the collar is still too large. And if your dog pulls or tries to slip out of the collar, then they most likely will. Um, because again, the collar is too big. So you want to make sure that when you pull up on the control loop, these two hardware pieces stay apart so you want them to be separated and if you have that adjusted correctly then the martingale is going to work great for you but again be sure when you take the collar out of the package to adjust the slider all the way out so you have this nice big collar and then put it on your dog and adjust it from there because once again if you do it if you adjust your collar um, when you, before putting it on your dog, most likely you're going to end up with something like this. And that's just not right. So this is wrong because this is the adjustable portion of the collar. Bring it out. And this is right. Now, if, if you're going, you know, if your dog's smaller, you know, and you adjust it all the way out, just remember, this is how it should look then. So this is the part that goes around the neck, this is the control loop. You can see how that looks different than if you did this, right? So that's wrong and that's right.
So what we recommend is use the Martingale collar for walks and training and uh, they are fantastic collars for that. I love Martingales. I use them for my dogs, but highly, I highly, highly recommend that when you get home for a, from a walk or a training session, then I want you to put on a quick snap collar, also called a flat collar or a quick release collar. So you, very, very easy. You just unsnap it and then you snap it back together to put it on and you're good to go. You can put the dog's tags on, which you can also put tags on a martingale. Um, and in fact, I recommend putting the tags, in fact, let me just adjust this out a little bit more, but I recommend putting the tags on these hardware pieces right here so that there's not a lot of clinging going around and making a lot of noise, um, but you can certainly put them on the D-ring if you like as well. Um, but of course, when the leash is on there, it's probably going to cause a lot of noise. If uh, the tags are attached here, it won't. So um, thank you for joining us for this video and we would appreciate it if you like and share and um, we will see you again hopefully soon for another video. All right, thank you so much. Bye.